The geography of the Philippines is both captivating and dangerous. Seriously, take a look at a map. The country's shape is so unique, it almost looks designed. It's undeniably beautiful. But what makes it dangerous? Well, about 50 million years ago, the Philippines looked completely different. Over time, tectonic plates shifted, splitting Pangaea into separate continents. Some of these land pieces broke off, becoming islands, exactly what happened to the Philippines. Over millions of years, the country's geography evolved into what we see today, and it's truly one of a kind. Welcome to the remarkable geography of the Philippines. Now, the Philippines is an archipelago. What's that? It's simply a group of islands. With over 7,000 islands, the Philippines fits the bill. Depending on where you look, you'll find different numbers. Some say 7,641, others 7,640, and some even list 7,107. The correct number used to be 7,107, but after 2016, more than 500 new islands were discovered, bringing the total to 7,641. Imagine finding out you have over 500 new islands in your country. Let's talk size. The Philippines covers 300,000 square kilometers. To put that into perspective, it's bigger than the United Kingdom, Ireland, and a few other countries combined. Even compared to South Korea, it's pretty large. So, while the Philippines may look small on the map, it's actually quite vast. Being an archipelago has its benefits, but also its challenges. Before we dive into the negatives, let's celebrate the positives. The Philippines' thousands of islands mean countless beaches, each one a hidden treasure. It's no surprise that tourism is a big part of the economy. In 2023, tourism brought in 480 billion pesos, with over 5.4 million international visitors. And it's not just about the beaches. Boracay, one of the world's most famous beaches, is just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless other stunning beaches, many still untouched. But that's not all. The Philippines is a biodiversity hotspot. It's home to over 52,000 species of plants and animals, half of which are found nowhere else on Earth. For example, the Philippine tarsia is native only to the Philippines. The country also has 600 bird species, 350 reptile species, and an incredible marine life, including 500 species of coral and over 2,000 fish species. This rich biodiversity exists because the Philippines' geography, its tropical climate and isolated islands, has allowed nature to thrive in pristine conditions. However, there's a darker side to the Philippines' geography. This beautiful country is also vulnerable to natural disasters. Every year, Filipinos brace themselves for an average of 20 typhoons, with five of those being destructive super typhoons. Imagine living in a house that expects 20 visitors each year, all of whom try to destroy your home. But that's just normal life here. Over the years, the people have adapted, learning how to prepare for these disasters. So, why is the Philippines so prone to typhoons? The country lies within the Pacific Ring of Fire. If you look at a map, you'll see that the Ring of Fire surrounds the Pacific Ocean, a region known for active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. The Philippines sits right in the middle of this zone, which is why they regularly experience earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But what's the connection between the Ring of Fire and typhoons? Well, volcanoes and the Ring of Fire heat the surrounding environment, creating the perfect conditions for typhoons to form. The Philippines' geography doesn't just bring typhoons. Volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are also a constant concern. With nearly 300 volcanoes, 24 of which are active, the threat of eruptions is always present. The Philippines has seen 44 major eruptions in the past 400 years, and while many of the thousands of annual earthquakes go unnoticed, some can be devastating. On average, the country experiences more than 20,000 earthquakes annually. But Filipinos have learned to live with these natural disasters. Their houses are often built to withstand typhoons, although not everyone can afford such protection. Despite this, the people of the Philippines remain resilient. They know that their country will face typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, but they continue to thrive. Even with the challenges, they are grateful for the wealth of natural resources and the opportunities their geography offers. At the end of the day, while the geography of the Philippines brings its share of dangers, 
It also helps the country flourish. The beautiful islands, rich biodiversity, and the resilience of the people make the Philippines a unique and thriving nation.